Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. And I'm here today to do one of my most favorite things ever, and that's shoot a video of a classic Bronco. This is a really special one. It's a 1970 half cab. The roof is steel, and the bulkhead in the rear is steel. There's a lot of reproductions out there where they put fiberglass tops and fiberglass bulkheads, but this is the real deal. This is an uncut body, 1970, and it's the Bronco Sport. If you look online at most of the Broncos you see, they don't have the Sport emblem. With the Sport emblem, you get the chrome that runs all the way down the body. You also get the chrome that goes down on the rocker panels, the chrome that goes around the door frames, and the chrome that goes around the windshield frames. So you need to really look hard at some of these other Broncos. A Bronco Sport is pretty coveted because it's got the chrome. Also the chrome bumpers are part of the Bronco Sport package. What sets this apart from other Broncos, besides the fact that it's pretty nice, it has a 1976 drivetrain in it. So the motor, which is a 302, the transmission, which is a C4 automatic, the Dana 20 transfer case, that's all pretty normal stuff. But in 1976, you get the Dana 44 front end, which actually came out in 71 and a half. So this has the 76 front end, plus it has the sway bars front and rear. And you off-road guys know the sway bars don't help it articulate, but they do make it drive nice, nice and flat going down the highway. The springs are Deaver, which give it a good ride quality. It's got Rancho shocks. If you wanted it to flex more, you could remove the factory sway bars. Also, the 76 drivetrain, you get the 9-inch rear end with a larger housing. It's got gussets that go all the way to the middle of the tube. And the earlier Broncos, those gussets end right there at the pumpkin. Also got the Deaver Springs in the back. It's got dual exhaust with mufflers. The Ford Bronco spare tire cover, which is pretty cool. And this right here opens real easy. You just swing, you swing the tire out. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but when you, this license plate will flip. And that way when you put it down, like if you're going to Home Depot and you got to pick something up, your license plate is still in view. A little Bronco trivia there. The ones that didn't have the optional swing out spare, there's a mount here on the bulkhead, and that's where the original spare tire would mount. This Bronco is lifted about two inches to accommodate, a little bit larger than stock tires. The rear fenders remain uncut, which is, again, a, an important feature. The paint job on this Bronco, there's a label in the glove box giving the DuPont number. This paint job is about 15 years old, and it's a good, I'd call it a driver quality paint job. People see it and like it. It's certainly not show quality, and there's certainly flaws in the paint. But on a truck or a Jeep, I'd consider it pretty good paint. If it was a 69 Camaro with a 427, then it's really not a good paint job. But I'll show you the flaws in the paint. A lot of it's just patina. See some chips right here on the, the edge of the top of the grill. Then there's also another place where Broncos get patina, and that's from the seat belts. When you let this go, it pops and it hits the door panel right here. So you got some chips in the paint on the door panel. Inside the glove box is the it's a 76 Broncos owner, owner's manual that came from the 76 Bronco. There's your uh, DuPont paint label code. Your little VIN tag. This also has uh, 350 gears front and rear with Positrax front and rear. So you put it in four wheel drive, all four wheels are pulling Positrax style. The seats are original, very good shape vinyl the regular factory vinyl and when we installed the vintage air a few years ago 
we didn't modify the transfer case to go into low range basically you can see it's in high you got to be able to move it up and move it forward basically what you'd have to do is cut it weld it where it clears the air conditioner unit to allow it to go forward enough so that you could put it in four-wheel drive so that's a modification that needs to be done it still has the windshield wiper motor cover and kind of a little felt headliner we haven't cleaned it or washed it for this video we're letting you see it the way we keep it could stand to be vacuumed out probably could stand a little wax and polish but we just want you to see what you're getting we're not trying to hide anything the paint in the bed got a, got a few few little scratches and scrapes this original color was orange and the DuPont color they call it a red but it's really kind of a reddish orange little shade different than the original factory paint that just snaps up there like that but it's a sweet little ride it blows cold air it's got some little cursor mud grip tires the tires are probably almost as old as the paint they're still functional and they hold air but probably with age it might be time to freshen up the tires we'll start it up it just has mufflers with dual exhaust it's showing 10,786 miles of course I'm sure it's rolled over a time or two the padded dash is in pretty good shape it does have a little crack right here on the leading edge and they put a Ford logo where the AM factory radio was but you can turn this on and in this half cab it, it blows cold you don't have a lot of area to cool you can see the patina on this side from the seat belt armrest is showing a little wear and I've told the Ford vans have the same part number if you ever wanted to replace the armrest you can see when they painted it there's a little orange peel there's some cracks right here around the door handle in the paint again it's nothing terrible but it's a 15 year old what I call driver quality paint job but when you're driving down the street and people see you in this truck I mean they're gonna love it they're gonna love what they see and if somebody leans against it or or sets a coke on the hood you're not gonna have a meltdown like you would maybe on a show car but you could certainly show this Bronco it's a favorite it's got the original air cleaner upgraded to the power brakes when they did the Dana 44 front end so it's power disc brakes that's your uh, power steering cooler of course power steering box the original Broncos the 70s most of them had a Dana 30 front end manual steering uh, some of them were six cylinders some of them were V8s but she's a pretty truck give us a call <clears throat> we're Texas best used motorcycles Mansfield Texas we can ship this little Bronco anywhere you want to go she probably could use some fresh fuel and a tune-up what I call an Italian tune-up put some fresh fuel and run it down the highway but it drives down the highway very very good especially with the sway bar set up have a great day this is Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails